I'm Elizabeth Crispalusi. I publish a blog called Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating our digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can highlight text in WordPress. And you'll come out with the added bonus that you'll learn a little bit of HTML if you don't already know it. So WordPress doesn't actually have a, a highlighting tool built into it. Uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going to put a background color uh, behind some text and it will look like the way you would highlight text in any other kind of document. So we go into the dashboard. I'm, go I'm going over to this uh, post that I've already written called Highlight Text in WordPress. And you can see um, that I've got a little text in here. I'm on the Visual tab. We're going to need to add this code to the Text tab. This is very important. So click over there. And I want to highlight the words highlighting effect. So what we're going to do is you're just going to put in this particular piece of code. And you, you're going to need to copy it exactly the way that uh, I write it here. HTML is pretty picky about the different characters that you use. So we're going to start with a, a left hand caret. And we're going to say span, which is going to tell us uh, where to begin the effect. We're going to put in style. Uh, and we're going to say it's the background color, colon, and then we're going to just actually put in yellow because HTML has yellow built into it as a color. And then you need a semicolon, a closing quotation mark, and a right hand caret. So you can take a look at that for a second. Uh, and then you want to, where you want this coding to end, you have to put in a closing tag for. Um, which is just span with a forward slash in front of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview the changes. And there you can see the words highlighting effect now look like they've been highlighted. Now, um, you're not, you may want to use a different color than yellow. Um, and while there are a few built in colors, they may not represent the one that you want. So you can go to a website called colorpicker.com. And here you can actually see I've got it set. This is, uh, it gives you the actual codes you need for the different colors, but maybe you'd like to use a nice little sort of pink color. So you would click over here, maybe uh, drag around until you see the color that you want. That's kind of a nice one. And now you'll see there's a code F25EDF. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my page. And where I've got background color yellow, I'm going to put in that code, but before I finish that, I actually have to put a pound sign in front of that code. Otherwise, uh, HTML is not going to recognize it. And now when I preview changes and I go back to my site, you can see it's changed to that nice pink color. So there you go. Now you can add highlighting to your blog posts, which is always important when you want to really make something stand out. Mm -hmm.